My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, prepare your hearts for a revelation that will shake the foundations of your faith and completely change the way you see the world around you. Something unbelievable has just begun on earth and you need to know it now. Have you ever stopped to think about why so many strange things are happening at the same time? Wars, diseases, natural disasters, what if I told you that this is all part of a greater plan, a plan that was prophesied thousands of years ago and that is unfolding before our very eyes at this very moment? Get ready for a journey that will challenge everything you thought you knew about the future of humanity. What you're about to discover isn't just shocking, it's a truth that few have the courage to face. But you, my friend, you have been chosen to know this truth. And the most incredible, this revelation is not just about destruction and chaos. No, my brother, my sister, it's about hope. It is about a promise of divine protection for those who are prepared. Do you want to be one of them? In the next few minutes, I will share with you information that will change your life forever. Information that will give you the power to prepare for what's to come. And at the end, we will pray a powerful prayer together, asking for God's protection and guidance for these turbulent times. So take a deep breath, open your heart and prepare for a revelation that will transform your faith and your life. Time is short, the time is now. Are you ready to find out what's really going on on earth? Now, my dears, let's embark on a fascinating journey through the mysteries of the Bible, huh? I'm talking about those prophecies that make us have our jaws on the ground. Do you know that part of the apocalypse that talks about the four horsemen? Well, let's break it all down. Look, it's no wonder that this passage is there in Revelation 6, 1, 8. It's chilling, see? Each of these nights represents a force so powerful that it will turn the world upside down in the final times. It is as if God has given us a map of events that will shake the entire earth. But calm down, it's not to panic, no. We are here to understand, reflect, and above all, strengthen our faith. Because at the end of the day, that's what we cling to, isn't it? In trust in God and in the certainty of salvation that Jesus offers us. Now come on, think with me. These knights are not just symbolic figures, no. They represent real events that are going to happen here on Earth. It's like characters from an action movie. Only this movie is our reality. The business is so serious that even Jesus himself spoke about it back in Matthew 24, 6, 8. He said, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Nation will rise against nation. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Do you see? That's exactly what these knights represent. But look how incredible. Even in the face of all this, we don't have to be desperate. Why? Because we have the promise of God's grace. It is at this time that prayer becomes our most powerful weapon. We may not control what's happening outside, but we control how we react to all this. So are you ready to dive deeper into this subject? Because my friend, it's serious. Each of these nights carries with them a message, a warning. It's like a red alert flashing in our faces, you know? But calm down, it's not to scare, it's to wake us up. Think about it. The world is there full of conflicts, economic crises, diseases. Are they not signs? The Apostle Paul already said there in 2 Timothy 3, 1, in the last days terrible times will come. And doesn't it seem like it's happening right before our eyes? But do you know what's more incredible? It's just that even in the midst of all this confusion, we have a safe haven. The Bible is there to guide us, to give us hope. It is in it that we find God's promises. It is in it that we strengthen our Christian faith. Now let's do an exercise together. How about it? Grab your Bible and turn to Revelation 6. Read calmly, verse by verse. Can you visualize each rider? Can you feel the weight of what each one represents? It's chilling, right? But do you know what's crazier? It's just that we're not reading this just to stay informed, no. We're reading to get ready because my dear knowledge is power. And when we understand these prophecies, we are more prepared to face whatever lies ahead. It's like having a treasure map, only in this case, the treasure is eternal salvation. And look how incredible, even in the face of all these scary predictions, we are sure that God is in control. He does not abandon us, no. 
As it says in Isaiah 41.10, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. So, my friend, let's face these times with courage and faith, because in the end, victory is already ours. The first of the four horsemen of the apocalypse riding a white horse is an intriguing and complex figure. Many Bible scholars identify him as the Antichrist, a character who emerges in the end times with promises of peace and global unity. However, behind this facade of benevolence hides a plan for world domination. This knight symbolizes conquest through deception, using persuasive rhetoric and seemingly beneficial actions to gain the support of the masses. As the Apostle Paul warns us in 2 Thessalonians 2, 9, 10, this being will come with all power, with signs and with deceptive wonders, demonstrating a supernatural ability to influence and manipulate. It is crucial that we are attentive to the signs of the times. Current global movements, proposals for a new world order, and the emergence of charismatic leaders promising universal solutions may be harbingers of the arrival of this night. However, we must not allow ourselves to be dominated by fear. Our faith in God and knowledge of the scriptures are our primary defenses against deception. Jesus warns us in Matthew 24, 4, beware lest anyone deceive you. Therefore, it is essential that we strengthen our faith, diligently study God's word and maintain a vigilant posture. Thus, we shall be prepared to discern the truth amid the illusions which this night will bring while remaining steadfast in our trust in the Lord. The second of the four horsemen of the apocalypse riding a red horse is a figure that conjures up images of conflict and bloodshed on a global scale. This knight personifies war in its most intense and devastating form, bringing with it a period of hostilities unprecedented in human history. As described in Revelation 6, 4, and another horse came out red, and to his rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to cause men to kill one another, and a great sword was given to him. This passage vividly illustrates the nature and purpose of this horseman to instigate conflict and promote mutual destruction among nations and peoples. When observing the current world panorama, it is impossible not to notice the signs that seem to announce the approach of this night. The growing climate of international tension, the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, and regional conflicts that threaten to escalate into broader confrontations are worrying indicators. As the prophet Jeremiah warns us in 614, they superficially bind up the wound of my people, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. This passage reminds us that often the appearance of stability can mask an impending conflict. Faced with this scenario, it is essential that we maintain our unwavering faith and seek to be agents of peace in our surroundings, always remembering the words of Jesus in Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. The third of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, riding a black horse, is a figure that symbolizes economic scarcity and hunger on an unprecedented scale. This rider carries a pair of scales with him, as described in Revelation 6, 5, 6. When the Lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come! I looked, and before me stood a black horse. His rider had a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard something like a voice coming from among the four living creatures and saying, A kilogram of wheat for a denarius, and three kilograms of barley for a denarius, and do not damage the oil and the wine. This passage vividly illustrates a scenario of extreme inflation and food shortages, where basic items become unaffordable luxuries for many. Current global economic trends seem to point to the approach of this night, Growing economic inequality, recurring financial crises, and instability in world markets are alarming signs. As the prophet Amos reminds us in 8.11, Behold, the days are coming, saith the Lord God, when I will send a famine upon the earth, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. This passage warns us that scarcity is not only material, but also spiritual. In the face of these challenges, it is crucial that we strengthen our faith and trust in God by remembering Jesus' words at Matthew 6.33, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Thus, even in times of economic difficulty, we can find peace and provision in our faith. 
The fourth and final of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, mounted on a pale-colored horse, is a figure that evokes a deep sense of awe and purpose, as described in Revelation 6, 8. I looked and before me was a yellow horse. His rider was called Death, and Hades followed him closely. Power was given to them over a quarter of the earth to kill by the sword, by famine, by plagues, and by means of the wild beasts of the earth. This passage portrays a scenario of large-scale devastation, where death reigns through multiple means, armed conflicts, food shortages, disease, and natural disasters. To put it in perspective, considering the current world population of approximately 7.9 billion people, a quarter would represent about 2 billion lives. Have you ever imagined approximately 2 billion people losing their lives? It is a truly alarming and unprecedented number in the history of humanity. Although the full arrival of this night is yet to come, we can observe worrying signs in the world today that seem to foreshadow his approach. The emergence of new diseases, the increase in the frequency and intensity of natural disasters, and the persistence of armed conflicts in various parts of the globe are alarming indicators. As the prophet Jeremiah reminds us in 921, death has climbed up through our windows and entered our strongholds, destroying the children of the streets and the young men of the streets. Faced with this challenging scenario, it is essential that we strengthen our faith and trust in God. Let us remember Jesus' comforting words in John 16:33. I have told you these things, that you may have peace in me. In this world you will have afflictions, however, take heart, I have overcome the world. This promise assures us that even in the face of the severest tribulations, the ultimate victory belongs to God and to those who trust in him. As we contemplate the prophecies about the black horsemen of the apocalypse, we can't help but notice certain unsettling similarities to the current reality. Although we cannot categorically say that this messenger of scarcity and economic imbalance is already among us, recent global data invite us to a deep reflection. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, in 2022, about 828 million people faced chronic hunger. This alarming number, which represents an increase of approximately 150 million since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, could be a harbinger of the scarcity conditions predicted in the scriptures, should the Black Knight indeed manifest itself. Global inflation, another aspect that could signal the influence of the Black Knight, has reached worrying levels in several world economies. In 2022, Countries such as Argentina, Turkey and Zimbabwe faced inflation rates of more than 50%, leading to a significant erosion of the purchasing power of their populations. Even more stable economies were not immune. The United States, for example, recorded in 2022 the highest inflation rate in 40 years. These data make us reflect on the words of the prophet Haggai. You sow much, but reap little. They eat, but they don't get enough. They drink, but are not satisfied. They dress, but they don't warm up. He who receives wages, receives it to put it in a leaky bag. Haggai 1, 6. Would this be the reality that would intensify with the arrival of the Black Knight? The global economic imbalance, which could be another mark of the possible action of the Black Knight, has also intensified. According to the 2022 Oxfam report, the 10 richest men in the world doubled their fortunes during the pandemic, while the income of 99% of humanity fell. This growing disparity between rich and poor could be a harbinger of the scenario of extreme scarcity predicted in Revelation. As the prophet Amos warns us, Listen to this, you who trample on the needy and ruin the poor of the earth, saying, When will the new moon pass for us to sell the wheat, and the Sabbath to trade the grain? We will decrease the ephah, we will increase the price, and we will defraud the scales. Amos 8, 4 and 5. These words make us reflect on how economic inequalities could worsen drastically if the Black Knight does manifest itself, leading to a situation where basic resources would become inaccessible to a large part of the world's population. In the face of these disturbing signs, which could be precursors to the arrival of the Black Knight, we are called to a deep reflection on our role in this scenario. 
How can we prepare ourselves spiritually and materially for the possible challenges that lie ahead? How can we be agents of change and hope in a world that seems to be heading towards scarcity? Let us remember the words of Jesus. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. Matthew 25, 35. This is a call to action, a reminder that even in the face of the possibility of times of scarcity, we are called to share, to care for one another, and to trust in divine providence. May we therefore prepare to meet the potential challenges ahead with unwavering faith, active compassion, and renewed hope, knowing that even in the darkest hours, the light of divine grace continues to shine. The revelation of the seals, as described in the book of Revelation, is a topic that generates much reflection and speculation. While we cannot say for sure whether we are already experiencing the opening of these seals or when exactly it will occur, it is undeniable that many current events make us question whether we are approaching this prophetic period. We have observed a significant increase in the frequency and intensity of natural disasters in recent years. Devastating earthquakes, such as the 7.8 magnitude one that struck Turkey and Syria in 2023, remind us of apocalyptic descriptions. Climate change, with record-breaking heat waves and extreme weather events, echoes John's words. The sun became dark as black mane cloth, the whole moon became red as blood. Revelation 6:12. While we cannot categorically state that these are the prophesied events, they certainly make us reflect on the possibility. Global conflicts and growing geopolitical tensions lead us to the description of the second seal, where peace is taken from the earth, the war in Ukraine, conflicts in the Middle East, and rising tensions between superpowers are worrisome, but we can't say for sure if they are the direct fulfillment of this prophecy. Similarly, resource scarcity and global economic instability, evident in many parts of the world, make us think of the third seal, but it is important to remember that history has seen cycles of prosperity and crisis. Global pandemics, such as the recent COVID-19, remind us of the plagues mentioned in the fourth seal. However, it is crucial to understand that throughout history, humanity has faced several devastating pandemics, we cannot say for sure if this or any other recent pandemic is specifically the opening of this label. Faced with this uncertainty about the exact timing of prophetic events, we are called to constant spiritual preparation. As Jesus warned us in Matthew 24, 44, therefore you also must be prepared, for the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. This preparation is not based on fear or certainty of impending events, but on faith and continuous vigilance. The revelation of the seals remains a mystery in terms of exact chronology. We don't know if we are already experiencing the beginning of these events or if they are yet to come. Our responsibility is to be vigilant, prepared and steadfast in the faith, regardless of the time when these events occur. As the Apostle Paul reminds us, Therefore, my beloved brethren, stand firm and endure. Always be devoted to the work of the Lord, for you know that in the Lord your work will not be in vain. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. In the midst of the uncertainties and challenges that apocalyptic prophecies present to us, it is critical to remember that our faith and trust in God remain unshakable anchors. The scriptures offer us words of comfort and encouragement that are especially relevant as we contemplate possible future events. As the psalmist reminds us, God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in adversity. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth trembles and the mountains sink into the heart of the sea. Psalm 46, 1, 2. Even in the face of the possibility of turbulent times, we are called to keep our faith firm and our hope alive. The Apostle Paul encourages us, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor future, nor any powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38, 39. These words remind us that regardless of the circumstances we may face, God's love and protection remain constant. It is important to emphasize that our faith does not exempt us from going through difficulties, but it gives us the strength to face them. Jesus himself warned us, 
In this world you will have tribulation, however, take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. This promise assures us that even in the midst of chaos, we have a Savior who has already won the final victory. Our task is to remain faithful, confident, and active in our faith, being light in the midst of darkness and salt in a world that may be losing its savor. Finally, let us remember that our hope lies not in the circumstances of this world, but in the promise of an eternal future with God. The Apostle John gives us a glimpse of this glorious future. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, nor pain, for the old order has passed away. Revelation 21, 4. Therefore, as we await and prepare for the events to come, whatever they may be, let us keep our eyes fixed on this eternal hope, trusting that God is in control and that His perfect plan will be fulfilled in His perfect timing. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have come to the end of this impactful revelation. What we share today is not just words, but a call to action, a wake-up call to prepare and to strengthen your faith like never before. You now possess knowledge that few have, a deep understanding of the signs of the times and what is to come. But what are you going to do with this information? Will you continue to live as if nothing has changed, or will it rise up and become a beacon of hope and truth in these turbulent times? Allow me to challenge you. How can you apply what you have learned today in your daily life? What changes do you need to make to be spiritually prepared for the events that are unfolding? Reflect on this. Make decisions. Act now, because tomorrow may be too late. Remember, the knowledge you receive today is not just for you. It is a light that must be shared. Think of how many lives can be transformed, how many souls can be saved if more people have access to this truth. You have the power to make a difference. If this video touched your heart, if it opened your eyes to a reality you didn't know before, don't keep it to yourself. Share. Click on the like button, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. Thus you not only help us spread this vital message, but also ensure that you will continue to receive crucial information about the times we live in. And now, before we close, let's unite in prayer. Let's cry out to God for protection, wisdom and courage to face what is to come. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this revelation, for preparing us for the times that are coming. Lord, we ask you to give us discernment to recognize the signs, courage to act in accordance with your will, and strength to remain faithful in the midst of tribulations. Protect us, guide us, and use us as instruments of your light in this darkening world. Lord, we pray for everyone who has watched this video. May thy truth sink deep into their hearts. May they be moved to seek you more intensely and to share this message with others. Prepare us, Lord, for what is to come and help us to trust you always, no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. May the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Until the next video, stand firm in the faith. As we close another chapter together, I know some questions might still echo in your mind. You may be wondering how to navigate the complexities of spiritual life and unlock a path of abundance and blessings. The journey is challenging, but you don't have to walk it alone. In the comments, you'll find a powerful key to this door many seek to open. The ebook, Discover Prosperity with God, the ultimate guide to overcoming spiritual challenges and living a life of abundance. This is not just any book. It is the fruit of years of research, experience, and profound revelations now within your reach. Imagine overcoming the barriers that prevent your spiritual and financial growth. Think of the comfort and security of living a life aligned with the promises of prosperity meant for you. This ebook is more than words on a page. It's a map to the treasure you deserve. Join the many who are already on a path illuminated by faith and knowledge. The power to transform your life is just a click away. Check it out now in the comments and start your journey to a life of fulfillment and prosperity. Remember, prosperity with God is not just a distant dream. It's a promise waiting to be fulfilled. With this guide, you're one step closer to making it a reality. 
Your success story begins today.